but yeah, it feels weird having a little bit of shaken confidence because I'm usually a very confident person and I think a lot of that comes from just working through things repeatedly because uh, one of my friends, he was asking me, we sat down for some coffee and he was starting up a little window washing business and he goes, Parker, how do you build confidence? Because you put yourself out there regularly and you do a lot of different things. Um, how did you figure out that you had this gift? And the biggest thing that I can say in terms of building confidence is confidence comes from doing something that you do not want to do over and over until you get the desired results. It's like going to the gym, it's literally doing, playing an instrument, it's literally doing anything. If you, because most of the time our brains are lazy and we don't really want to do the thing. So if you can kind of take your personal willpower and dominate that feeling inside that I don't want to do this until you get to the point where you are happy with that outcome, that is where you will become and develop significantly more confidence. I know that's how I've gotten to the spot where I'm at because I've done some ridiculous stuff that makes no sense. Um, I mean, I've worked for myself for 11 years. I'm 31 years old. I've helped establish a sanitary district. I've played college athletics. I've done a whole bunch of different things, but um, none of that came just by happenstance. It all came from a directed, measured output and keeping a focus on what that overall goal was so that you can actually have the desired outcome that you're trying to achieve. So if there's anything that you can take away from this whole video today, take that away. Um, if you want to build your confidence, just find something that you want to do and then just do it. It's very reductionary, but it's one of the hardest things that you will ever take on because just doing something is extremely difficult. Um, you're going to not want to do it a lot of the time. You're going to get tired. You're going to get sick of doing it. You're going to get beat down. You're going to just feel like the world is against you. And then there comes a point where it feels like what you're doing is futile and that you have no chance of ever succeeding at it. And then somehow there's a a resistance that you kind of break through and then all of a sudden you realize like you didn't die and in fact you're stronger because of it and now you have the you have a new ability that you've kind of unlocked and you've leveled yourself up to another degree and that really is something that is special you that's why you, when you start stuff you should finish it like quitting is well quitting's for quitters and quitters end up losing so don't be a loser